Hey everyone, welcome to Job Format. My name is Kimberly, and today we're going to be walking through how to approve PTO or paid time off with the new approvals process with JotForm. So I'm in the approvals landing page, and if you're already familiar with JotForm, it looks very similar to creating a form. We can either start from scratch, we can use a one-step approval, or we can use a template. So for today, I'm going to use a template. I'm gonna come up here to the search templates and I am going to type in leave. And then you can see we have 22 templates all ready to go for human resources needs. But right here, I'm gonna choose the leave request approval template. So I'll click use template. And this is one of my favorite things about this approvals process. I love being able to see the bird's eye view. So from here, we can actually view and edit the form by clicking that top box where it says leave request form. We can edit the form. So you can see for this template, we have their name, we have their employee ID, their email phone number, their position, who their manager is, what their manager email is, and then their leave date, start and end, the type, and if they want to leave any comments. So we can go back up and we can come back to this workflow. So looking at this, we can see that there are two levels of approval here. So let's say they know that there's a specific amount of time or maybe dates where no one is going to be allowed off. This person right here in the middle, they can automatically deny it without having to add more to your plate. So if you did have assistant, all you have to do is right here, we can click here, the little gear, and we can change the approver email to your assistant's email. That way they will get it first. Now let's say that the dates are good, you approve it. When it comes down here to the manager email, because they put their manager email in the form, this can become the approver field. So right here where it says form fields, we can drop down and we can choose which field. So for this one, it's going to be the manager email. Once it gets to the manager, if they deny it, it's automatically gonna be pushed to that denial and they'll also receive an email, if it's approved, they will get an email for that. So let's go ahead, let's publish and let's try it out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and fill out a couple of these boxes. And for this, one thing that I would do is I would make this question required and you would do this in the build. Let's say it's not required and they don't put an email here, they might not ever get the response they're looking for because remember, we put the manager's email as the person that gets the, either the last say in the approval or denial. So I am just going to make this two days vacation and then request leave. So now that it's submitted, we can go back to our builder and then up in the top under approvals, we're going to click on tables to view all the submissions for this form. And we can see, so it is in progress so far. We can have the name and then the dates that they want for vacation. So right here for approval process, it's telling me up here, there's action required on my part. But if we scroll down, we can either choose to approve or deny. So for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and click approve. And right here, it's saying it is waiting for one more person's approval, right? Because the form came to me, I'm kind of like that in-between person. Now that I've approved it, it's waiting for their manager's approval. So we can see right here, it is waiting for approval. Now, one really nice thing that we can do with this is let's say that that manager is on vacation or they've had to leave on emergency and we need to approve this request. One thing that we can do is we can click on these three dots and we can either reassign or we can take over. So let's say you know that those dates are good. I'm gonna go ahead and take over and I'm going to approve it all together so we can see it has been approved and then we can also see who did the approving. So if you have any questions about leave or paid time off request approvals through JotForm, please leave it down below in the comments and I'll see you later.